What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another update video on my fish room for the month of September. A lot going on in the fish room, so I'll take you through each one of these tanks, let you know what's going on, what's new, what's not. First off, I got a new rack in. I've been talking about it for a little while. I finally took out some cupboards, added some or made a rack, excuse me. So it's going to be 429s, all I could fit, and then I'll have 255s. So I got the heaters already, got the tanks, I got another 55 outside in the shed. Going to have to get another 55, but that's the latest project. A lot of babies going on, a couple new fish, but we will start right over here. So I got my ruby red breeding group and I've had them for a month maybe two months now probably closer to two months but they have finally bred so the one right in the back she's hiding one right behind the sponge filter that is my first spot so finally they're starting to breed he's been going crazy lately as you can see most of the females are pretty plump holding eggs so in the next few days I'm sure all of them or at least most of them are going to be holding so I got that one male that's hiding in here and the four females and I wish I could get a little video of the female holding she's got a big mouthful so pretty pretty pumped up about that so I've been waiting on them to breed for a while and the next week week and a half I will strip her once the eggs develop I still got my albino crebenzas I took the babies out a little while ago and they haven't done much since you can see she's got a big plump stomach but they haven't bred yet the male has been ready to go he's been digging the last few weeks so I wouldn't be surprised if they start breeding again and over here we got a whole bunch of baby paradise cichlids. It's a half cichlid. I got the breeding group over here. Obviously because I pulled up the camera. They're all hiding. Well, at least the male is. So I got two batches of these. So I got one here if you can see them if it focuses. And then I got the one that was earlier. See there are they're a tad bit bigger. They're going to need a new tank soon. Once I get this out there, I'm going to throw them in that 29 gallon. Let them grow out. And then I got some dragon blood babies here as well. This is my last group of them. Because I'm going to be subbing out this male. So he's given me a whole bunch of babies. And I'm going to try out a different one. As you can see, He's got three of his four females all holding, except for that lady right there. The rest of them, where's the other one? The rest of them all holding. He's got my big old pleco there as, as well. So yeah, bunch of babies, all doing really well. Right underneath, we got a bunch of jewel cichlids. They're getting to, to be pretty big. Pushing an inch, inch and a half, about 15 of them. And over here, this was our original group of albino uh, carenzas, but as you can see, they all look to be normal. So I sold out all the ones that actually were albino. And I guess this is a cross gene mix. So whoever buys these will get albinos and normal ones, the rainbows. But yeah, I still got a whole bunch of those. I got another batch of all albinos behind me, and I'll show you shortly. I still got my golden rams. And to be honest with you, I think they're breeding. They were looking like it. I think they're behind doing the... Oh yeah, they are doing the dance. Maybe not scare them, but I'll zoom in on them. They're doing the dance behind there. You see her big plump stomach. So we'll let them be the male there. You can see his, he had Popeye a while ago. But still doing well. 
so they're preparing to breed I'll let them be but that's pretty neat still haven't had a success a successful batch yet I used to take them out but I wasn't very good at it so I've been letting them do their thing they haven't done one quite well yet so hopefully that changes so yeah here's my dragon blood or strawberry or firefish or whatever you'd like to call it he's beautiful though I will sell him don't want him but I got too many babies of him they're gonna be gonna need to sell them out eventually so if you want him yeah let me know he's beautiful the five inches mm. all right so I got my paradise babies here these are my big ones They're getting close to about an inch. But when I counted originally, I had 37. I don't think I lost one of them, but you never know. In here, I just got a mix of different peacocks. A couple females, a couple males. I do have a beautiful OB male in here. Let me see if I can get him out of here. Show you guys. Yeah, he's beautiful. I'm not gonna catch him, but if you come out for me, I don't have to get my hand wet. Yeah, you can see him there. See how far for us. Yeah, he's good looking. One more time. So, in the next little while, I'm going to get him a breeding group. But yeah, he is stunning. When he's all colored up, he looks even better. So I'll get that all back. Still got a few normal rainbow uh, curbenzas i think i got seven in this tank that's all i got left i remember i rescued a whole bunch of them months back and this is all that's left obviously they've had babies before and i got rid of those pretty quickly but this is all that's left not really looking to breed them looking to really try to get rid of them i'm out of into the dwarfs as much as i used to be more into the peacocks and haps so this is my only hap cichlid. I got the paradise cichlid. I will show you. I'll get a different net and see if he'll come out too, just to show you. He's a beautiful fish. He's been looking like he's been trying to breed too. The females are starting to get plump. So I wouldn't be surprised if they breed again. Let's see if he'll come out. Come on, pal. Let us see it for the camera. There he is. Look how beautiful he is. Not in his breeding colors right now because I just scared him, but when he's fired up, he's bright blue and he's got those dark lines that come out. So, at least he came out and showed him. He's going to go back in and hide it like the camera. So that's all right. I, up here, I got my albino Arika Reds. I just struck the last one and none of them are holding right now and of course my male is hiding like they always do when I got the camera out let's see if I can tie some with a little bit of food but he's a stunner as well he's had a whole bunch of babies so just like the my dragon blood in the next little while, I will eventually sell him off. I'll let them be with some food and see if they come back. If he comes out. Okay. So here's my albino babies, the Grabenzas. So only albinos in here. Sorry for the tank, or uh, the front. Got a little bit of algae on it. Pleco hasn't got it yet. I think I got about 15 in here. That's all I've let, got left. I sold a whole bunch of them, probably about 30 of them now. Had a big batch. In here, the next three tanks are albino Arika Reds. So these guys, oh, he's, he wants to come out. So I got three different tanks. So you can see different, different stages. These ones are my oldest ones. They're starting to, really get some color on them, at least a couple of them. 
as you can see, real impressed with them so far. Mail still hasn't come out. What a bum. In here, this is my oldest group of dragon bloods. So they're starting to eat some pellets. So the bug bites. These ones right here. So they're not very big, but they're starting to eat it. Which is promising since they started eating it. They've put on a little bit of size, so they used to look like these guys here. And now they're about double that. Um, cool thing about this batch is I got a bunch of or or yellow ones. So you can see that guy right there. A whole I got about maybe six of them that are yellow. So I might have a new little strand out of it instead of having the orange and red ones. So that looks I'm pretty pumped about that. And the next one I got my newest fish. And that is the albino fluorescent, fluorescent, however you say it. I won't even attempt the other version, but you can see he's a stunner. Got five females in him with him. And when I bought him, I was looking to replace him up there. So I was, I was looking for a different type, but I ended up buying an albino. Didn't even notice until I got home. One of the normal one, but they'll have some albino. The guy I buy them off of is uh, Malawi Cichlids Canada. He's out in Mississauga, and he doesn't call these guys dragon bloods or anything like that. He calls them red crystals. Red, um, maybe something different. Maybe, I'll, but beautiful fish. A red coral, that's what I was trying to say. Red coral, but beautiful. So hopefully in the next week or two, I'll get the 55s and I'll connect everything. And these guys are going to go on a 55 gallon like the rest of my breeders. And they'll go over right over there. And then I'll put some more babies into grow out tanks. And then hopefully I can strip these guys out. And they start breeding a little bit more. And we get something even better going. But yeah, 20 tanks up right now. Hopefully I get rid of all my dwarfs in the next little while. Look at that bristle nose. That male. A stunner. Anyways, yeah, hopefully I get rid of all my dwarfs and I get back on the peacock and hat train. I'm going to get another breeder to go on the next 55 right beside it. These guys... We'll go in one of them. But yeah, not too bad. I'm slowly running out of room. I might take these guys out at the top and put some more 10 gallons and stuff. But when that time comes, when I run out of space. So 20 tanks up. This will make 26 when I get all those six tanks out. Not a bad thing going. So if you enjoy the video, like it, subscribe, comment, whatever you got to do. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in another one.